Both Singapore and Malaysia are determined to work together and tackle outstanding bilateral issues, said Prime Minister Lee Shin Long on Monday. There is also the political confidence that resolving such issues is something both he and Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim can explain to their respective populations as being beneficial to both sides. He said. He was speaking at a joint press conference with Datuk Seri Anwar, who is in town for the two-day, 10th Singapore-Malaysia Leaders Retreat at the invitation of PM Lee. PM Lee said potential solutions may not be conventional compared with the ways in which such issues were thought about before. But it is something which, if we take a long-term overall point of view, I think we can work out solutions which will address both countries' concerns and be beneficial to both countries, he said. He added that addressing these issues, which include maritime delimitation, land reclamation, works at Pedra Branca, water and airspace, is not easy as trust has to be built between both parties. Pointing out that he and Mr. Anwar have known each other for almost 30 years. He said, so that is not something which happens just any time. It just happens that we have this opportunity. The two-day retreat from Sunday is the first between PM Lee and Mr. Anwar, who took office in November 2022. It is also the first retreat between leaders of both countries since 2019 and the COVID-19 pandemic. PM Lee said all the outstanding issues are important and will be considered holistically and constructively within the broader context of the overall relationship between the two countries. Importantly, they will not be allowed to color and affect this overall relationship or detract from the many positive areas of cooperation between us. I am confident that the two countries can work out durable and mutually beneficial ways forward on all of these issues. He added. On the issue of water, Mr Anwar said Malaysia's position is clear. We have to honour the commitment and the supply of water from Johor to Singapore, and we will have to work jointly to ensure that Johor will be able to enhance the capacity to supply both for Johor's needs which are also expanding, and for Singapore. He added that instead of focusing purely on price mechanisms, the two countries should also look into the possibility of Singapore participating in joint efforts of studying the issue, which can be conducted immediately, and also in managing the Johor River. He also spoke about efforts to address issues concerning maritime boundary delimitation and airspace and flight information regions. Mr. Anwar added that he was quite excited about the level of achievement from the retreat. The commitment is unprecedented in terms of enhancing the level of working relations between Malaysia and Singapore. He said. A joint statement issued by both leaders after the retreat also noted progress and efforts made in areas such as promoting tourism, helping startups, and addressing transboundary environmental issues. On the topic of air traffic services over southern peninsula Malaysia, the leaders agreed to review the delegation arrangements, which were recommended and approved by the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO in 1973 and implemented through the operational letter of agreement between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore Area Control Centers concerning Singapore arrivals, departures and overflights, 1974. The review will be in accordance with ICAO's requirements for safe and efficient air traffic management and will accommodate both countries' current and future operational needs. Both leaders have tasked the respective transport ministers to deliberate and agree on a set of principles and outcomes to guide both civil aviation authorities to move forward as expeditiously as possible. The leaders also look forward to the first joint meeting of the Malaysia-Singapore Committee tasked to resolve outstanding bilateral maritime boundary delimitation issues, said the statement. On water prices, 
The statement said the leaders agreed that both countries will resume discussions on prices for raw and treated water without prejudice to each other's respective long declared positions on the right to review the prices under the 1962 Johor River Water Agreement. Responding to a question on how quickly bilateral issues are resolved, PM Lee said, I would not say what is fast and what is slow. I think each one will go as expeditiously as it can because we are both equally determined. He cited a Malay idiom, Sedikit Sedikit, Lama Lama Manjodi Bukit, which means small efforts over time will become a hill. He added Tatapi Tat Lama Logi, suggesting that the efforts will not take much longer.